Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to talk about how you can add some transformations in event stream and as well as you can add the destinations out of it. So in the previous video we actually added a new event stream and then we talked about how we can add this Azure IoT Hub and about this functionality. If you haven't seen that I recommend you to go and watch that video first so that you can get more clarity about that. And after that we just added uh, here you can see the data right away here now i just want to go to my existing um, thing here which i already created which is here machine 01 the existing event stream so if i open up this one i can able to see the same thing which is coming data from iot hub and then it going to machine 01 and there are certain things here correct so if i just uh, hide these things and then if I click on edit on this one so when you click on publish this will take a little bit time in order to get activate here so you just need to wait at least one to five minutes time period so it will get activated and from there you can work on your own all right so I will just uh, bring this down a little bit okay for now let's uh, there is no option to drag and drop so I'm sure it was yeah it is there okay so this looks good and I can also scroll, zoom in, zoom out here. So, so far what we have seen is like we can get the data from this IoT Hub. So, you can see it on the bottom as well, it's showing up the data. And then we can add certain things. Right now you can see it is showing up here a symbol which is basically the data activator symbol and this is basically the managed field symbol. And then it's going again to data activator and then going to event house. So this is the beauty of that we can have multiple processes in between we can add multiple destinations as it is however we want so what i actually did here is basically i just added a transform event from this one and then select this manage field option so once you click on that this will give this option about as you can see it on this right hand side here we can select the necessary columns what we need because if i click on this add field and here in the drop down if i click here it's going to show me multiple things here uh, let me zoom here yeah you can see we have the imported schema built-in date time built-in time function mathematical functions all those things i don't need right i can just need only the data which is required for me in this scenario if i expand this one imported schema as well i can see device name temperature pressure downtime power everything and apart from that i have additional thing which is partition id event enquired utc and all these things are additionally added by default in this process so if you want those information you can use that if you don't then you can also skip that so like that itself i just used this one i have used only the column which is required for me which is here device name temperature downtime power consumption operational hours timestamp and pressure so for me only these things are required so i'm selecting all these fields here so if i click here in this process then you can see only that information showing up here at the bottom and if I click on this event machine learning and you can see there are some additional columns also added here. So that's the difference here. You can also ingest everything if you want or if you just want the selected information you can also do that. And that information actually I'm passing it through two destinations. One is the event house which is the KQL database and another is the data activator. So you can just click on destination and then click on event house. If I click here it's going to add it into your canvas here. And here there are two different process one is direct ingestion or ingest before thing okay let me delete this one and then, then i will show you one thing so if i click on this path and then click add here and event house it's going to add here at the bottom i can just drag and drop to this to be in the top here okay i added it here now we can just use this icon and then just drag and drop click here and then drag and drop over there now if I once I did so have you noticed this one this direct ingestion is removed here okay let me delete this so here we can see both of them are active mode itself if I just add this one and then click on this part this direct ingestion is gone what is the reason behind that is direct ingestion is nothing but whatever it is there on the event stream if you want to use as is without any changes then you can use direct ingestion but if you are doing any kind of processing like we am just selecting only the particular field if you want to add transform you want to add group by the union or aggregations all these things if you want to do that then this option will get disabled you need to use this one even processing before ingestion 
So before injection, you are doing some processing and then you are loading the data into KQL DB. So this cannot be changed when the KQL destination start ingesting. So you can just specify the destination name here and then whatever you want to do it here and you can just specify the workspace name as well. Even though it is started in this workspace, but still it is asking us here if you want to relocate to a different workspace for that. And inside to that, it will look for some event house database, uh, event house, yeah, it is available there. And inside to that, it will look for KQL database, which is here. And inside to that, if you look for some destination tables here, if you want to create a new one, you can just click on the new one and then you can start using that here. And finally, you have an option about input JSON format, which is the JSON here. All right. So activate ingestion after adding this data source. So once you click on save, it is going to start processing those things here. So let me delete this and then open up this existing one. If I click here, so data ingestion made mode for this ingestion is permanently set to event processing before ingestion because I'm doing some processing and then ingesting the data here. And as you can see, if I scroll down, you can see the destination name. This is the manual added one workspace name, event house and KQL database and machine learning this is the table name and the format is JSON as simple as that. So if I look into my event house here now, if I go back here and open up this learning LH machine, this one, this is basically the KQL database and this is the event house, this is the database and inside to that I can see the table here. If I click on that and minimize this option, I can see today I am recording this is December 19, yeah that's what it is and it is showing up 276 records has been ingested so far. So even that's too early, I am into my day here and this is showing up all these insights here. There is also data preview and schema insights here, if I click on this one, this is going to show up the information here. The green ones are recently added inside to this one. Let's give uh, one or two seconds if it adds all the data again here or not, because these are all the pre-added data. So 209, uh, if I look here in the schema insight, it's just giving about a brief about what is the schema of this table and how many records which we have based on the device name here. It has understand the data here. So right now this is uh, showing up the data, that's fine. All right, showing the top 100 records. If I go back here. Okay, so we'll talk about this KQL DB uh, a little bit more in detail uh, once we are finished with the other part. So let's move on to this one. So we have seen about this data is coming in and uh, let me check here. You're right. I mean, if I expand this one, this is showing up here 19. Yeah, it means it is coming up the data in the real time as we are speaking here. Okay, cool. So the next thing here is I just want to show you about data activator here. So data activate is nothing but I can just click here and then click on data activator. So this is again the same process. I need to give it a name. I need to select the workspace. I need to select the data activator here. If it is not, then I can just click on create new. It's going to add that. And also the input for this activator is also JSON. I can click on that part. So this is thing is done here. But how does it look like? So let's have a look into that in my workspace. So if I go back to this one which is a data activator machine. So here you can see the type activator. So this is the main part. And for this, if I click here, this is going to open up here. And from here, we can uh, do all these things here. So you can see this event stream. That's what the name which is there. If I move on to this part, as you can see it here, this is the event stream machine. That's the name ES machine 01 underscore stream. So that's the thing which is showing up here, right? Same thing. And inside to that, whatever we have, it is going to ingest the data here. As I mouse over here, you can see this is time is December 19, which is what I am uh, doing up here. So it is showing up all this information on this one data activator. And from here, we can create objects and rules and all those things. We'll talk about those things in the upcoming video. But for now, this is how we can able to uh, get the data and do the transformation and load into event house, lake house, KQL database or you can also use into data activator. But I have just also added another thing, which is here, you can see, I can just click on add destination and then add activator. As you can see it here, I just added here destination, the machine one data name and the input data here, it's showing up for me is JSON itself. Yeah, that's right. Because of the zoom option, it's not showing up here, but that's fine. So it's also the same thing uh, and we can also create based on this and you can see what is the information flowing inside to that. You can also look into that in the bottom one. So device name, temperature, pressure and downtime, all those things is going to show up here. 
So this is all about you can able to use this events team in order to filter the data that select the data and also if you want to directly ingest the data. So all those things you can do it here. I hope you got much more clarity about how and what we need to do inside to this event stream. If you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.